7 Things That Will Get You Banned in Adopt Me Number 1. Adopt Me has a zero tolerance policy for discrimination. Now what that means is that there's no place to go and target other players inside of Adopt Me. And according to Adopt Me's website, this even includes social media. Adopt Me recommends that you block someone on Roblox and also go and switch servers instantly. And you can also go and report these people in game and sometimes they'll actually go and get banned if they're going and doing something which is wrong. Adopt Me's quote said, if it's not something you'd say to your friend or siblings, you shouldn't say it on Adopt Me. This second rule is actually really interesting. Adopt Me players can only play on their own account. Apparently that's a rule. Which means you're not allowed to account share with somebody. Basically meaning having the same login as somebody else so you both share the account. I'm not quite sure how that gets you banned but it's in the community guidelines on Adopt Me's website. Up next is illegal trading, which is classified as any trade where you buy or trade pets for real life money, including Robux or other Roblox game items. So Roblox will actually go and ban players if they catch you going and trying to sell something that you have in Adopt Me for real money. So if you try to go and sell, for example, your Bat Dragon on eBay, you'll probably get banned. If you try and trade your pet for something in a different game, then you'll probably also go and get banned. And also trying to sell your pets for a Robux, you're most likely going to go and get banned. So I highly recommend not going and doing this at all, since you guys don't want to risk getting banned and it's against the rules. The next way to get banned is if somebody sends you a link. That's right, you can get banned by clicking on a fake Adopt Me link. There are many people out there who are trying to target people on social media to go and get people blocked. If someone DMs you a link saying that you've won a giveaway or you've won something in Adopt Me and it says to join the private server, 99% of the time it's going to be a scam. And what they'll go and do is they'll go and give you a fake login, you then go and log into it and they basically take over your account, they'll hack you and they'll take everything that you own inside of Adopt Me and your account could go and get banned. So please be careful when you go and click on any Roblox link and never give your passwords out. Up next, Adopt Me's community guidelines say that your personal information is yours and is not to be shared. So that means you should not be going and sharing any personal information, including locations, passwords, account details, as there's a high chance that you'd go and get hacked, and if you're hacked, then you go and get banned because they're probably going to do something on your account. Adopt Me's community guidelines also state that you should be considerate when interacting with each other, including talking about religion, race, gender, politics, or real life events. So basically, the moral of the story is just to be nice. Because if you're too rude to someone, you could go and get reported and then banned if you're like really rude to someone. Lastly, someone said that they traded with their alt and did 100 trades, which resulted in them going and getting banned. Now, I'm not sure if this is an official true story, but apparently trading too much might look suspicious on your Adopt Me account, especially if you're receiving 100 trades of completely free items from yourself. Say you have an alt because you've been trying to go and earn tons of candy on multiple devices. Well, Adopt Me might think that you've hacked someone and you're trying to steal all of their pets, but it is actually just your second account. So basically, if you are to go and trade things from your second account to your main account, just go and do it gradually instead of all at once, or Adopt Me might just think you're a robot. Click this video here to see how I got scammed playing Picador.